Since the early days of the Russia-Ukraine conflict, the U.S. has provided billions of dollars in military support to Ukraine. But what impact has this support really had on the ground? Have these weapons been game changers in Ukraine's defense efforts, or have there been challenges along the way? Today, we'll explore the effectiveness of U.S. military support in Ukraine and how it has shaped the conflict. First, let's take a quick look at the main weapons that the U.S. has supplied to Ukraine. Some of the most impactful have been the Javelin anti-tank missiles, which Ukraine has used to great effect against Russian armored vehicles. Another key weapon has been the HIMARS, or High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, which has helped Ukraine target Russian supply lines and key logistics hubs. Then we have the Stinger anti-aircraft systems, effective for countering low-flying threats like helicopters and drones. Four long-range artillery support M777 howitzers have provided Ukrainian forces with extended range and precision. And finally, drones like the Switchblade, designed for one-way attack missions, have helped Ukraine execute precision strikes on critical targets and gather valuable reconnaissance data. Each of these systems has a unique role on the battlefield, but together, they aim to give Ukrainian forces an edge. Let's dive into how these weapons have performed in real combat situations. The Javelin anti-tank missiles have been a critical tool for Ukraine, especially against Russian armored divisions. In the early days, Ukrainian infantry used Javelins to ambush Russian tanks and armored vehicles, creating choke points that slowed down Russian advances. Their portability allowed small teams to set up ambushes, then quickly relocate, making it difficult for Russian forces to counter these strikes. The Javelin's effectiveness in disabling Russia's armored vehicles has been widely praised, even being called a game-changer by some military analysts. Next, HIMARS, the high-mobility artillery rocket system, has offered Ukraine strategic precision for longer-range attacks. HIMARS systems have been used to target Russian supply depots, command posts, and critical logistics points deep in occupied territory. In some cases, the element of surprise has allowed Ukrainian forces to disrupt entire Russian supply chains, limiting their ability to sustain frontline operations. HIMARS precision-guided missiles have been particularly effective in targeting high-value assets, and their mobility has allowed Ukraine to avoid retaliation by quickly repositioning. The Stinger anti-aircraft systems have also played a key role. These shoulder launch systems have enabled Ukrainian soldiers to engage low-flying Russian helicopters and drones, which has been essential for defending against Russia's air attacks. Stingers have been especially useful in protecting ground units from sudden aerial threats, reducing the frequency of Russian air patrols in certain areas. While limited in range, their ease of use has allowed Ukrainian forces to deploy them quickly, making them a reliable defense tool against air-based threats. Another weapon making a substantial impact is the M777 howitzer. Known for its long-range artillery capabilities, the M777 allows Ukrainian forces to strike enemy targets from a distance, which has been critical in supporting defensive positions and pushing back Russian advances. The M777's precision has allowed Ukraine to concentrate firepower on specific targets, reducing collateral damage and maximizing impact. By providing Ukraine with accurate, long-range fire, the M777 howitzers have helped maintain control of strategically important territories and have been particularly effective in counter-battery operations, neutralizing Russian artillery positions. Finally, the Switchblade drones have brought a new element of flexibility to Ukraine's battlefield operations. These drones are essentially kamikaze systems designed to loiter over an area and strike targets with high precision. Their small size and ability to avoid detection have made them particularly effective against Russian armored vehicles, command posts, and artillery positions. Beyond strikes, switchblades also provide real-time intelligence, allowing Ukrainian forces to scout enemy movements and make strategic decisions based on up-to-date information. However, these weapons haven't come without challenges. For one, Ukrainian forces have needed extensive training to operate some of these systems effectively, especially the more complex platforms like HIMARS and M777 howitzers. Training is often limited to short periods, which can affect efficiency on the battlefield. Maintenance and resupply have also been critical hurdles. 
Keeping these weapons operational in the field has sometimes been a struggle, especially in active combat zones where logistics are a constant challenge. While these weapons have been effective, Russia has also adapted, using tactics like decoys to mislead Hamars or electronic countermeasures against switchblade drones. The impact of U.S. military aid goes beyond just the battlefield. Strategically, this support has forced Russia to rethink its tactics and has elevated Ukraine's standing among Western allies. However, it raises questions about long-term consequences. Could this level of support trigger escalations, potentially drawing other nations into the conflict? For Ukraine, U.S. support has strengthened its position in the conflict and increased its leverage on the international stage. This relationship, however, brings expectations for Ukraine to align closely with U.S. interests, setting the stage for deeper defense partnerships in the future. In summary, U.S. military support has provided Ukraine with critical tools to defend itself, from anti-tank and anti-aircraft systems to long-range artillery and advanced drones. The effectiveness of these weapons has not only impacted battlefield outcomes, but has also symbolized Western support for Ukraine's sovereignty. But there are significant challenges, and the long-term risks of this support should not be ignored. As the conflict continues, U.S. support may indeed shape Ukraine's future, but whether it's enough to secure a decisive outcome remains to be seen.